Hello everyone. Welcome. It's so good to be back with you looking at God's word and learning from God's word. This time around, I want to talk about being firm, being anchored in God, being steadfast and immovable in him. We understand that um life's journey is not simple. Sometimes things are easy and then there are other times when uh, we are uh, really struggling. But no matter uh, what the journey looks like it's so important for us to be uh, standing firm in god uh, when we look at matthew chapter 7 um you know there is a parable that the lord jesus uh, spoke about there from verses 24 through verses 27 uh, where he says that therefore who hears these sayings of mine and does them i will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock and the rain descended the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house and it did not fall for it was founded on the rock and then he goes on to talk about a foolish man who hears the words of Jesus but does not apply them um and when the foolish man builds his house it is as if he builds it on sand and the house does not uh, stand through the different seasons Similarly in our lives we could um, encounter different seasons and in every season you know it's so um important for us to stay anchored in God Ephesians chapter 6 you know it asks us to stand in God you know the scripture there says verse 13 therefore take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand verse 14 stand therefore having girded your waist with truth having put on the breastplate of righteousness and then there is the description of the entire armor of god but notice the invitation is for us to stand while we are here on the earth we know that we have a very proactive enemy in satan and he um is um he he wants to do something to bring down the believer and you know uh, the enemy is constantly out there waiting to devour a believer however we understand that the lord jesus has made us overcomers so even though you know, we are uh, in this life we are vulnerable to the attacks of the devil we can still um be so strong in the lord that we can stand through any onslaught and continue to stand victorious psalm 112 uh verse 7 the second part there you know it talks about the the man who is steadfast and it says his heart is steadfast trusting in the lord so no matter what we go through we must not lose our faith in god our trust in god this word steadfast uh it's from the greek word called as kun and uh it is understood as being firmly fixed confident steady secure unshaken unsettled and so on so it is our trust in god which will enable us to stand through the various seasons stand through the attacks of the evil one and so it is also our um, attitudes and decisions in life which will determine whether we will continue to pursue this race that god has put us on with the same amount of passion and with the, the same amount of um uh, you know with with the same amount of enthusiasm uh, even to finish the race uh, and so friends i just want to encourage us there will be different things in life wanting to shake us all up but as god's children let us remember that we are overcomers and we by putting our faith in the lord now we have the capacity to stand strong against all of these things Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we have the victory uh, over Satan, sin, sickness, death, everything, O oh God, because of what Jesus has done on the cross. And Father, we declare our victory, Lord. Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you that we can stand firm. We can remain trusting in you no matter what we go through. Give us that heart of faith in you at all times. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. 
Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.